Oh hi there, welcome to the DIY channel. Please enjoy this new console series. <gasps> Void, no. What have I done? Why? Can you believe it? You have to void your warranty to clean out your PlayStation. What is that about? <laughs> Might have done that backwards. Oh, look at the dust in there. Oh no, it's some weird screwdriver. Torx bit for that one. Found a massive tool kit at the French supermarket for 80 euros. It's a T10 star drive with the hole in it. We'll be getting rid of the old HDD hard disk drive and we'll be getting some flash memory in there. The hard disk drive's from 2008. That should slide off. Hey, look, it's clear. So we've got arrows. Yes. Ah, yeah, so it's a short one. So that's nice of them to label it. If you want to go genius level, you could even make a screw map. Insert a flathead and give it a twist. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops, I was dusting my neighbors again. My bad, Chris. Oh, I got a rubbish bag here. Let's try and brush it into the bag. Instead to nail the neighbors. Still waiting on that compressor, John Doe. Next we have to unplug the these. black box is the power supply and the optical disk drive is a Blu-ray reader. Oh, that's really just floating there, eh? Alright, I've got a ribbon. Guess we need to take this off first. And we've got an M on that screw. Unplug it all. We've got another M here. That should just pop up. Oh yeah, two probes, passive cooling. Now we can get to our ribbon, just flick that up, pop it out. Fan, it's an earth, it's main power in. Those will be our heat sinks. Bit of rust, look at that. That's not cool. Pop loose the side with the USBs first. Oh. And then, loose. then pop the side with the I.O. ports. The motherboard's wedged in there tighter than a parking space in front! What I find interesting about the PS3's architecture is that it's a cell processor, not Intel, not AMD, an IBM. It was more of a science oriented processor built on the power PC architecture, much like the supercomputers of the early 90s. So the cell processor is actually extremely powerful. It has a dual core main core and eight sub-processors and the GPU is an NVIDIA, quite powerful for its time. But the only problem was that because the processor wasn't a common type that programmers were used to, not many programmers actually utilized the system CPU to its full power. Are you lost yet? You might need a bitmap. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Because a bitmap's a type of graphical picture? Oh, you knew that. Okay, sorry, I'll see myself out. Clean it all up with iso alcohol, both sides of the circuit boards, the heat sinks, get it all mint. Check for corrosion, check for any problematic areas. I will need to order more heat pads and a BIOS battery. Just and kill any corrosion on there. Clean our heat pads. So 
Oh, look at that corrosion. So next time I'll check to make sure the corrosion's not getting worse. And if it is, treat it. Put some connection silicon. Looks a bit better. Get that dry. Now let it dry and then we can put it back together. In the meantime, I'm gonna go over the power supply. Don't touch anything. Just bloody let your brush do it. When I say don't touch anything, I mean anything. These capacitors could be holding 240 volts and these inductors could be creating voltage magnification between them. Jumpers right there could have a thousand volts on them. I mean, it won't kill you, but it will bloody hurt. Just that port. Put it back together now. You can see the notches, see the notches. Thermal paste, and big chips. Do some extra dots in the corners. Can't believe I still got any left. Eh, maybe you're just winging it. It's no worries, process of elimination. You'll figure it out, can only go one way. Hmm, which way did it go? Shh, this way. I remember. Cancerous rust. Sand that out. Any sandpaper will do. Just get rid of it. Put a little bit of oil on it. If you have some paint, paint it. Do enough to see for you. Do it in stages. Get our fan in. Get our earth in. Big threads go into the normal ones, just the arrows. And our fine threaded friends go into the M's. Now, this was a pain to take off, so what's the bet? It's going to be a pain to put on. Huh? 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 Right, put the front first, and then the back. Now I'm going to clean all these casings with ISO. Right. Get a bit of that juice on there. A bit of alcohol. on there and do it on the horizontal so that it tries to yeah got it nice a very nice breaking news there's still people in the world that care about saving old consoles this is great news because the PlayStation 3 can be jailbroken allowing for modified firmware and custom software packages to be installed. This unlocks insane backwards compatibility with dozens of retro gaming systems like Atari, Nintendo, Sega, all the old arcade games, 
you name it, PS1, PS2, allowing retro game system owners to play all of their backups in one location in HD with wireless controllers. Thanks for watching everyone and a special thanks to everyone that smashed the like button. Cheers all, peace out.